Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Mortimer here. Welcome back to another Gamers Corner podcast. I'm joined by J Chops. He's a little bit of a nobody. He's not even A minus. How are you doing, <laughs> bro? I, I literally just played with you like two games, and I deranked after playing with you. I was really B, like, the entire. I was D, I was B the entire month. I played with you two games. I deranked. <laughs> That's not my fault. I'm A minus. <laughs> Obviously, it is. <laughs> my games. Okay. Oh, I never get to A with you. All right, so the podcast today is going to be about the release notes uh, that came out today. I'm literally going to upload this podcast today. We got to get out here making content. So we're going to go from the <laughs> list down, top to bottom, with my boy Chops. All right, so gameplay. Adjusted round loss bonuses with the goal of reducing a negative feedback loop following streaks of losses. Chops. Round loss bonuses are now based on the count of a team's round losses. The count increases by one after every loss and decreases by one after um blah, decreases by one after every win. Minimum zero. So I think Trops explained it um pretty well. How did you explain the game with like like So like every single like you could lose four rounds in a row. You'd get the normal thirty four hundred. You win a round, you'd get your normal three thousand two hundred. But then if you lose a round right after, instead of getting reset at fourteen hundred dollars, you'd get two thousand nine hundred dollars instead that's insane you would get the previous loss bonus that you had before you won basically so like so like if they won again and they got their whole their normal three thousand and they lost again it would basically go back to the two thousand nine hundred because they stacked they stacked up with four wins right yeah i mean four losses four losses four losses yeah four losses that's crazy so even even then it's like you win you lose four in a row and then you win like two and uh-huh. then you lose yeah then you'd still get twenty four hundred for losing and I'm pretty sure like with the winning two in a row you'd still be able to like have a full buy like even maybe maybe with an op I'm I not sure like with armor but this is gonna be super dramatic of course in bugs but I feel like it's gonna be really dramatic in the pro scene because especially the close games and like when it's like 15 14 and a team with 14 is like on a four spy with pistols and now they can probably have a good chance to have like this this changes a lot of this is probably this is a huge update this is crazy because you it changes everything because like you know if you if you win like four or five rounds in a row they win one and then you immediately win one you can't even call like hey the reset because they got two thousand eight hundred dollars back you know yeah exactly and it's like at the same time it's like with this almost being able to buy like more often Mm -hmm. it's like it exaggerates like the top teams with like insane aim because they have more rounds where they have where they have the exact same weapons as you yeah and also it says and decreases by one after every win minimum zero it says with zero losses you get four fourteen hundred, but also it says the minimum zero. So I'm not sure if you could actually get zero dollars from losing. I think it's when it's like back and forth. Maybe. Like, like say if if you win five, if I win five, you know I got my my thing sacked up. You win one, then I got the twenty nine hundred, and then. Well, you, no, you lose. You lose five. Lose five? Because if you if you win five, you don't have stacked up money behind you. You have to lose the four to get the stacked money, right? Okay. Oh, okay. So, bonus. so when I'm stacking up wins, and then, oh, okay. So if I win five, if I win five rounds in a row, and you and you get a round, then I get fourteen hundred. No, you. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. 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 Because yeah, yeah. I don't have any losses when I when you um, get that round because I'm stacking exactly. up, stacking it up. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I got the prices on the screen. So moving forward, previously a win could be reset. So we already went. I think we already did over that. Yeah, and uh, it said teams will begin the half with a lost count of, of one. So it still stays the same with a nineteen hundred after pistol round loss. This is enabled by default. Blah blah blah. Ooh, what is this? Oh no way! Added flashbang assist for players who successfully flash an enemy, which then gets killed by another player. Players who throw the flashbang will get an assist call out in the death notice. However, if another player inflicted forty damage, forty uh. 40 damage to the victim for the assist of flashbang assist player will not get the call out dude that's in, that's awesome that's, that's pretty nice because i've been uh, i've been seeing that in the pro scene now i'll get all the credit for like being the support player <laughs> right like, oh you oh you killed him yeah that was because of me idiot <laughs> okay so we got that out the way let's move down to the odd okay so the odd now that the players have an opportunity had the opportunity to learn the love of the AUG, returning the weapon to its original price of $3,300. So, I feel, there's still going to be people buying it. It's really just $200 yeah. more. 
Plus, especially like directly after this money change, where you're go if you were already losing, and then you win one, and then you lose one, that's you'll probably be able to rebuy the AUG. Like the money. It seems pretty balanced. The, yeah. It's like I didn't you really cut you off. <laughs> kind of, <laughs> you kind of like you nerf the AUG like back to what it was because like pe the pros even themselves said like I watched a Betway Sports video on this. The pros themselves said we never really used the AUG because there was like that stigma around it. Like we didn't realize how good it was until the buff happened, and now we know how insane it is. So we at least like minimum. So all that happened was back. the price change, right? They didn't change anything about it. They just yeah, changed the price. No, nothing else. Got so it was always it was, it was always good. Yeah, it was always insane. It's just like the pros never realized it because they just didn't take the time. Yeah. So moving on from that, the M4A1S, the one you were talking about. Oh, no way. Now it was 25 bullets in the magazine and it has 75 in it. Dude. What, dude, and like the entire reason why you would use an AUG over the A1S was because... Or like the entire reason the AUG made the A1S irrelevant, I should say, is because you'd use the A1S over the A4 for its accuracy, and then uh -huh. the AUG was literally the most accurate gun in the game, so like, what was the point? Yeah. But like, now, the A1S has almost as many bullets as, as one bullet reserves, so you can actually spam. You can, they buffed it, like, previously, so it had 70 and, and 20, or like 80 and 20, something like that? Something or like 16 that. 20. Yeah, 16 and 20. And, uh, but yeah, now there's, like, an extra mag atop of the extra bullets you're getting from it, yeah. so you can spam even more like through walls than you used to be able to so like it's that much closer to being like the a4 now yeah. and it's more accurate than the a4 it's like the five bullets unless like you're getting like five people rushing you and b amps you're not really going to need those five bullets like it's going to be way more powerful for people who are holding stuff like a site mirage like yeah. holding back and i feel like with the extra five bullets in a mag it's going to make people more comfortable with, with spraying and bursting with it yeah because like sometimes you like when you have like 10 bullets left in the ak you might not even need all those 10 bullets but it's just the fact that if you had 30 bullets it's just feeling comfortable like hey i got some bullets to spare you know yeah yeah all right moving on from that all right shotguns price reduction for some shotguns nova one thousand fifty dollars sawed off one thousand one hundred what wait it reduced the max seven price Ooh. but why that thing that thing destroys in pugs <laughs> <laughs> i think destroys in pro games the Nova is actually pretty interesting because now it's the exact same price as the Mac 10, which is already the cheapest cheapest SMG in the game. Wait, so the Nova penetration increased to one? Yeah, I don't know like, what that is. Like the armor? Is it the armor penetration? No, it would say armor penetration, I assume, because there's just penetration and then armor penetration. So it might be more. Ma well, obviously, if it says increase, it's going to be a bit more wall bangable. Yeah. Sawed off range increased to phone. Oh, no. That's that's literally like. I, is that as much as the Nova? Like that's over, I'm pretty sure that's at least double its normal range. Yeah, that's actually kind of sick. If you, they're making every, all the guns like relevant. Yeah. That's Sing dope. What's the next one? Because I think that has single to the single show shotguns in the middle of the reload sequence will no longer automatically continue to reload after a player holsters and deploys them. Oh, so quick switch, I think. It will no longer reload automatically continue to reload it will no longer automatically continue to reload after a player holster okay so yeah so single shell shotguns um, will no longer reload after the quick switch so like I, the no yes it was just an exploit that they fixed maybe fix a bug that prevented c4 or enemies seen through open doors from showing up on a radar that was a bug and it's then through door open doors i think i might have I don't remember that. Hmm. Maybe like in like squeaky, if you like, yeah, if, like you, if you like look through the door or something, something like that. Uh, fix a rare bug where a C four bomb reset trigger could reset the bomb to a position that was not on the ground. Yeah. Never heard of it, which is rare. Probably oh. re probably retake because it was it was sometimes it just wouldn't be on the ground in retake servers. Like it would just be floating. Yeah. Uh, I don't think. I mean, besides the game, there's nothing more. I mean, they have, we have we got a new case. We have, they have maps. They have map fixes, like Vertigo. We don't, we don't talk about those maps. Wait, hold on. Hmm. I actually want to take a look at these Prisma cases. Yeah, they fixed. They just fi did fixes for Vertigo and Canals. I'm surprised they're still like hardcore updating Canals. Like they really want to push that to work, but it's not working. It's 
it's probably going to be just like the og. Like, no one's going to pick it up just because the stigma. Yeah. Ooh, that's a nice og skin in the Prisma case. Yeah. I like that Deagle skin. Yeah, it's not... It looks weird. It looks like a like a weird Blaze version. And there's some more nice skins in here. I like... Let me see. Ooh, I like this M4A4. Yeah, I'll put up my favorite ones on the screen because I don't feel like downloading all of them. The heck? There's a P90 skin that says Toxic on it. What a man. But yeah, I, I like think... The, uh, huh? The op and the ump are pretty cool. The, like... Yeah. Wait, let me see. Oh, the, um... Oh, I don't want to say it. <laughs> I think it's true. I think it's try it. The have... eagle looks like a like a variation of like the, the blaze, blaze or the yeah. fades. Do you think? Fades too, yeah. I think I think we did a pretty good job of covering it. I mean, we said a short podcast, good eleven minutes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys uh, for tuning in this short out of nowhere uh, games corner podcast. I was joined by traps. I've been promising to let him be in one, and then you know I finally hey. saw the opportunity to keep my word. And um, hopefully he'll be in the future. One. Actually, we're gonna do a podcast on the blast uh, San San Pedro. I think that's what it's called. Uh, CSGO training is gonna be taking place in a a week or two, and he'll definitely be covering that with me. So hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys in the next podcast. Make you guys check out the other one. It's been Gamers Corner. It's been Mortal Man and Traps. YouTube.com slash JDM. <laughs> Has no videos or content on it. <laughs>